Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Well, hello everybody. Lewis, Norwich City Central. Welcome back to another match day experience. Norwich have won two Premier League games on the bounce. Who would have thought it? This is a chance for three wins in a row. Really looking forward to this one. The Southampton game was great. It was great to see Dean Smith in the dugout. And what was so impressive about the Southampton game is that we went behind, but we tactically tweaked things and it worked out. And I'm, yeah, I'm super confident um, that we might be able to pull something off this season. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Dean Smith's Yellow Army back in action. Coming up against Wolves, it's going to be a difficult game. Wolves have been kind of underdogs this season. They're sitting in sixth place. Um, yeah, and they could even be in the top four kind of the next two or three weeks. Um, they haven't played Chelsea, they haven't played the top three, um, but Wolves have quietly gone under the radar. You know, they've been winning games by, you know, getting through games. And yeah, it's going to be a tough, tough opposition. And Raul Jimenez is banging form. But from a Norwich perspective, there's a confidence, there's a feel-good factor. Um, you know, players like Billy Gilmore, Brandon Williams, uh, Rashid are kind of all revitalised. So yeah, confident going into this one at Carrow Road. And just looking forward to seeing some good football. Um, so yeah, follow me around for the latest match day experience. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. And let's hope Norwich City get a win. Um, looking forward to this one. My first game at Carrow Road in the Dean Smith era. And I haven't uploaded any videos um, post Daniel Farker. My first videos were with Daniel Farker. So new manager in the dugout. And let's hope for three points. Come on, you yellows. <laughs> Nil-nil at half time, good game of football, Norwich look competitive, which is a lovely change to see. And yeah, this Norwich City team are doing really well. Max Aaron's having the best chance of the game. One-on-one -on -one, and Rui Patricia makes a save. Wolves have been decent, but it's great to see this Norwich City team being competitive, fighting hard. They had some really good chances, Norwich. So yeah, this game is on a knife edge and um, I think there will be goals in it, but let's see what happens. Come on, you yellows, great atmosphere.
Come on, Arch. Come on, Arch. Come on, Arch. Ooh! Shoot! Oh, come on! Well, there we go, Norwich nil, Wolves nil. The kind of overriding thought coming out of that game is that Norwich were so much more competitive and it was a really, really good watch and you believe a lot more than, I mean, take the Norwich Leeds game a month ago now. It was a really drab affair and Norwich looked well off the pace against a really poor Leeds team. This Norwich City team looks so much more competitive. They're fighting a lot more. And yeah, coming out of that game, you felt it was a really good performance and actually you could even be disappointed Norwich didn't get the three points. Wolves are a really good team, they're in sixth in the table um, and Norwich City probably should have got three points at the better chances of the game. Max Aaron's missing a golden chance in the first half and then in the second half Pookie missing a great chance, Lucas Rook missing a great chance and I think Pookie having a half chance at the end but yeah so many pleasing aspects of that Norwich City performance just lacking that ruthlessness and that clinical edge um, because Wolves were certainly there for the taking but no as I said Wolves sick from the table hardly hurt us I think the only real chance they had was when Norwich City stabbed themselves in their own foot and Norwich had some brilliant opportunities some brilliant chance couldn't couldn't get that goal and you know it could be one of those games towards the end of the season where you are looking at it and thinking you know that, that, that's one of those games not where Norwich City should have picked up two extra points but overall Really happy with the game, really happy with the performance. Newcastle in midweek, what a massive game that is. And then some fixtures where things start to turn a little bit more tricky. But you're a lot more confident now this Norris City side can stay in the game, be competitive, just need that ruthless edge uh, to help themselves pick up the table. I thought the atmosphere at Carrow Road was absolutely fantastic, particularly in that second half. Dean Smith's Yellow Army um, truly bellowing out. And yeah, there's a much more positive atmosphere around Norris City Football Club at the moment. Um, which is really pleasing to see. Man the match, so many brilliant performances. I've got to give it to Milo Rashika. He hasn't scored a goal yet. I think he's only got one assist, but my God, is he a sub player causing Wolves to defend so many problems. Billy Gilmore, how he's not been in the team, I don't know, he's been outstanding. And Brandon Williams as well was excellent. But overall, a pleasing performance from Norris City, and let's hope they can pick up three points against Newcastle. Thank you for watching the Match Day Experience. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you later.